everyone, welcome to the first episode of Nature Adventures with Backpacking with My Lens. In this series, I will cover all the local, state and national parks around the world. In this episode, I will take you to a beautiful state park in Washington that is just 3 hours from Seattle and is well connected via public transit. Keep watching the video to know more about Wallace Paul State Park and the things you can do. We took the link from Westlake Station in downtown Seattle until Northgate. From there, we boarded bus 512 heading to Everett. Next, we took the community transit bus from Everett Transit Center to Gold Bar and walked approximately 30 minutes from the bus stop to Wallace Falls State Park. Gold Bar is a beautiful city located in the foothills of Cascade Mountains that was once a thrifty sawmill town. On reaching Goldbar, we first visited a local grocery store to buy bonfire supplies. Next, we headed to a diner called the Mountain View Diner that is a cozy family-style restaurant offering great food and a fantastic view of the Cascade Mountains. We ordered a Bark Eater Sandwich, a classic vegetarian burrito roll loaded with veggies and mushroom that came with a bowl of piping hot soup. For desserts, we ordered freshly baked banana cream pie. Overall, we loved dining here and the food was amazingly cheap. Our walk from the diner to Wallace Paul State Park was around 40 minutes through beautiful neighborhoods and creeks. The state park offers two overnight camping sites and five cozy wooden cabins near the parking area with shower facilities. You can book these wooden cabins for a night from the Washington State Park website. The check-in process was easy. All we had to do was to show up at the office and fill out a short form. Then we headed straight to our allotted cabin. Let me give you a quick room tour of our cabin. The cabins are right next to the parking lot and surrounded by thick conifers. The room is quite big with three beautiful large windows, a bunk bed good enough for two people, minimal decor, an electrically heated fireplace, a designated fire pit and a picnic table. However, the cabin does not provide us with the bedding, therefore we carried our own from home. The first thing we did on reaching here was turn on the heater as it was quite cold and next we made our bed before heading out to start the bonfire. We were starting a bonfire ourselves for the first time so we were excited, nervous and a bit puzzled. We started with unpacking the firewood and placing them in a cross pattern to create a chimney effect. We placed two large logs parallel to each other with 3 inch gap between them, then placed two logs above them but in opposite direction to create a chimney effect. To start the fire, we used a fire starter brought from the grocery store and placed it in the center. Then we burnt a thin wood and placed it on the fire starter. The next day early morning we began our hike through the woody trail to see the pristine waterfall. 
Wallace Falls is a three-level waterfall with middle one having the highest draw. The trailhead begins from the parking lot and passes through a thick coniferous forest adjacent to the Wallace River. It was a rainy morning but we had all our gears ready for the hike, from hiking rods to waterproof shoes and jackets. We started our trail at 8 and reached the lower falls in about two and a half hours. Overall, the hike was smooth and easy but there were some stretches that were steep and challenging. It's a fun, moderately challenging hike that we highly recommend doing when in Seattle. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notifications on my new videos.